My name is Sunday Gardner, and we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is marketing your travel business. And so, you know, in doing and preparing for this topic, I always feel like I've got to go back to the basics because many of you all continue to tell me that you struggle with the most important thing in your travel business, which is marketing, how to do it. What does it mean? A lot of the terms are a little bit confusing as to how do they apply to you. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to focus on marketing funnels. And what does that mean? The thing is that you all have already participated in a funnel. You found me through a funnel that I created. You most likely purchase through funnels that other businesses created. And as a travel business owner, you need to get familiar with how to create these powerful marketing tools in your business so that you can get people learning about who you are, why you're the bomb.com and why they need to pick you as their choice travel advisor. So let's first start with in the comments, how many of you guys know what a marketing funnel is? If so, type it in the comments and let me know what you believe a marketing funnel is. And then I'm going to actually start with just a pretty basic definition of what it is. A marketing funnel is really nothing complicated except for a path to get a person through the journey that is your business, right? And so let me talk about a couple of the stages that your travel business has in terms of the journey, right? They, you have people who are not familiar with you and you are trying to attract those people that meet your criteria to your travel business. How many of you all would love to do that and do that on autopilot? We call that attraction. We want to create a reason for people. What I say is to raise their hand and say, hey, I'm interested in your travel business. I'm interested in what you have to say. Right. So the first stage of where people find you or may know you is in the attraction stage. So we want a marketing funnel that's going to get people to raise their hand and say, yes, I want to get to know you better. Then the second reason to have a funnel or what or a part of your journey that your clients are going through is sort of the getting to know you phase. They're trying to figure out who are you? Why do they even care about what you have to say when it comes to anything related to travel packages, offers, whatever you are selling or doing? Why do people care? That's called the relationship stage, right? So it's also engagement. You want people attending possible events that you're hosting, interacting with social media posts that you're doing, responding to emails that you have. That's the second part. This is prior to when they've either made the decision to purchase a travel service or they're probably ready to make that. You want to be building both of these first two camps regularly. You want to be working on these first two camps of your business or journey in your business regularly. You want to have some way to get people to say, yes, I'm interested in you. Yes. You are appealing to what I potentially want to do when it comes in the travel space. And two, they start to develop a relationship with you. So I'm going to give you some examples of what that looks like. So when somebody says that they want to go to, and I, you know, I'm going to be using Bali probably. I'm still on the Bali high. So I'll probably be using Bali through the end of the year, right? Somebody says, I want to go on a trip, right? They don't just decide. Maybe sometimes people do just decide out of the blue, but what you want to happen is when they make that decision to go to Bali or go to fill in the blank, uh, fill in the blank location, that you become top of their mind. And the only way that they that you can become top of the mind of your client or your prospective client is, is that you already have to have a relationship with them. You already have to know them. You already have to have already had them raise their hand or somebody else that they are familiar with when they decide to go on said Bali trip or any trip, they will go with them. So your job as a travel advisor is always to be attracting the people that you want to always be in some sort of relationship um, connection phase with your clients. And so let's talk about what that looks like. So somebody has made a decision 
that they want to go to Bali or they want to go to this great destination. I just saw an advisor who I think I'm on her email list. And so she just posted about Jamaica, right? And Jamaica's on my mind because we're going in um, fourth quarter. And so you want that same sort of thing to happen to you is you're, you're already in their inbox when they make the decision to go out of town. You're already connected to them in some sort of social platform. You're already got some relationships, so they're already familiar because people buy from people that they know. They buy from people that they like and they buy from people that they trust. And so you want to get in that in those three areas. You want people to know you, like you, and trust you. And the way to do that is to create some way to market, some way to attract them and then to relate to them. So a marketing funnel is really to do those two things. And then the last thing that we want to do is when somebody says, I'm ready to buy, they're like, I'm calling Sunday. I'm calling you, right? Because they already know that you're going to deliver on the service. So you've already spent the effort and the time building the relationship when they're, so when it's time for them to make a purchase and they decide to swipe their credit card, they're picking up the phone because they, they know that you are there. It's too early in the relationship, so to speak, when somebody is ready to buy and for you to be trying to sell them something when they don't know you, like you, or even trust you, right? And so a marketing funnel just helps you create these relationship paths to ultimate purchase. Does that make sense? So what we want to do is we want to create multiple different types of funnels based on the objectives that we have. And so one of the objectives I said is an attraction, right? We want people to raise their hand. Another objective is for relationships or some sort of ongoing relationship. And then the third objective is something that you guys already do well, which is sell. You create these trips, you create these destination or packages, group trips, single, you know, um, uh, specific signature itineraries, whatever it is that you're selling, you already understand how to sell it but you don't understand how to attract or relate to people in a meaningful way that gets them to want to buy it, right? So what we want to do is we don't want to start at the end with strangers. We want to start at the beginning. We want to create a process by which we can attract our ideal client and a marketing funnel will allow us to do that. Not only will it allow us to do that, it'll allow us, if you set it up properly, to do it on autopilot. I always say, You've got really two ways to sell, right? Or to attract people or to relate to people or whatever is you can do it on autopilot, right? Or you can do it organically. I like paid traffic. I like autopilot kind of traffic. I like autopilot type of um, exercises, right? Because I don't have time always to be shaking hands and kissing babies, which is what I call the organic way, right? You've got to get out there amongst the people and you've got to introduce yourself and have personal conversations. Don't get me wrong. There's a place and time for personal conversations, but I can't do it at scale. I'm too busy training. I'm too busy working with clients. I'm too busy booking. I'm too busy traveling, right? So I don't want to say that because I'm busy doing those other things that the importance of attracting and relating to my clients come secondary. You can't allow that to come secondary because if you do, what happens is your business goes stale. You don't have new leads. You don't have new people to relate to. You don't have new people to sell to if you don't spend the majority of your effort and time building a system that will attract and relate to people in either an automated fashion or in a consistent fashion that allows you to always have a group of people to drop your promotions to. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in comments if this is connecting with you. So for travel advisors, particularly you all who are in the online space, marketing funnels needs to be like your best friend. You need to have something that is attracting people on a regular basis. You're getting leads added to your email list. You've got people joining your Facebook groups or your communities. You've got people attending your events. You've got discovery calls that are happening. You need that consistent flow of people getting to know you. Does that make sense? So some of you all will do things like you'll go to like, uh, and I'll use this as a good example because most people can relate to this. Some people who specialize in the wedding space, they'll go to bride. Uh, I call them bridezilla conferences, right? But the the bride conferences that they have locally, right? You'll invite your BDM and you'll go to those because there's a mass number of people and it's a great opportunity for you to shake hands and kiss babies, right? In person. But unless you're doing that on a regular basis, that you are where your ideal client is 
so that you can shake their hands and you can kiss babies on a regular basis, then you've got to have some other way to get in front of your people. We all have online businesses. So the best way to do that is on social media, using social media platforms, running Facebook ads, being inside of Facebook groups, right? Where we know our ideal client is. But I'm going to tell you, people's Facebook groups are protected protected spaces, right? I don't let just anybody come in my Facebook group and start promoting their travel uh, coaching business or their travel business, right? I don't let people come into my uh, my Facebook group and start talking about their, their upline or their downline or their host agency, right? Because my space is protected because I've created the community. So I get to define the narrative. Same thing for you, right? So maybe where you ultimately will relate will be in your own Facebook group, but you got to get people into the group. You got to get people there wanting to hear what you have to say. So you still need some sort of attraction system. All right. So for travel advisors, particularly online travel advisors, travel advisors that have full-time jobs, travel advisors where this is not the travel advisors where this is your main butter bread and butter travel advisors who want to grow their business a marketing funnel an attraction marketing funnel is what you need and so we're going to talk about that type of funnel in just a second but then the second funnel is ongoing it's a funnel that you will have and i use i use uh, these sort of ongoing funnels or um, relationship building kind of funnels, what I call them as um, we, we have an event. I love events because events, they get people to sign up. They get people excited. You get to build promotion around it. You get to host it. You get to, there's energy around an event and it's a reason to do a thing, right? It's a reason to promote. It's a reason for people to get to know you. Whatever that reason that you have event funnels or relationship type funnels where you can invite people, promote them. They have a start, they have an objective, which is really to build goodwill, to get people to understand why you are amazing at what you do. You should be hosting those on a regular basis. They could be information sessions. They could be interviews. They can be a myriad of different things, but those are really powerful ways for people to see your face hear your voice and connect with you and understand how you can help them. Listen, even if you don't have people attend by virtue of you creating the content, hosting it on a YouTube channel where people can listen, maybe at their own time is still even a powerful way to build connection. The number three reason, which is what you guys already do funnels for, like I mentioned, is you do funnels so you can sell stuff, right? You have a group trip that you planned. Maybe you have an itinerary. Maybe you have a service that you're promoting and you do that well. So you know how to build a group page. Maybe you're using a platform to do that. You're hosting your group uh, trip on a particular uh, CRM system and you're, sell you're promoting it that way. The problem many of you guys tell me, right? It was a problem that I could relate to too, is when I started and I created my group trips, it went on deaf ears. There was really nobody there to promote to because I didn't have an audience already built. I didn't have somebody to drop it to. So if you're in other people's Facebook groups, let's say, and they drop a group trip and those group trips sell out like hotcake, do you know why? It's because they've already done the work, they've already put in the time to build an affinity group where that the people that are in that group support them. That is what you also can do. You can do that via your email list. Maybe you don't want a Facebook group. Maybe you want to do that via email. It doesn't matter what platform or what method that you want to do to grow your tribe. The objective is to grow a tribe, right? And so let's talk about the stages of your marketing funnel. The first stage is awareness. Here, this is where potential or travelers, they're thinking about or they're getting to know who you are. And so that means you have to have an offer that allows them that opportunity. We don't wanna sell a multiple thousand dollars. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. We do wanna sell a multiple thousand dollar trip to strangers. That would be the cat's meow. But the reality is, is that people are not going to buy a multiple thousand dollar trip with somebody that they don't know yet, right? Maybe if you were referred, there's a little bit of affinity there. But if they don't know you, it's not likely that they're going to spend multiple thousands of dollars with a complete stranger without knowing you, right? So the awareness stage is not, the purpose of that is not to sell. 
The purpose of that is to give somebody the opportunity to get to know you. We actually want a funnel that does that. We want an offer that says, hey, here's a bit of information or here's something that I know, ideal client, that you are interested in. So get it. And then when you get it, in exchange for that, what I want is your contact information. I either want your phone number, your email, or both. I want you to get it. You want it. I'm going to give it to you. So you create a funnel that does that. I'm going to show you an example of that in just a second. But the second stage is interest that the person, a you'll have a travel, a, a travel client who expresses interest in your travel service. So maybe they book an appointment, a discovery call. Maybe that's the offer that you've offered to them is they've expressed interest in pursuing your services. So you have them fill out a form or a survey that asks them some questions about their trip and they actually um, book an appointment. That's a process that we have. We call it a travel request process. And so they're expressing interest. They've not spent any dollars with you, but they've expressed interest in doing so. And in that in that stage, what you want to do is the same thing. You want to make sure you have your, their contact information. You have a way to communicate with them. You want to conduct the discovery call. You want them to understand why you're the bomb.com, why they can trust you with their services. So it's another opportunity. So we have a travel request funnel. That's a that's also a funnel that we have and that we use in our marketing, um, in our marketing and also in our travel business. And then the third is the decision, right? So in the marketing funnel, a person needs to make a decision. You're always asking for somebody to make a decision. And so in your travel business, you have people are making, you know, I want people making multiple micro decisions all throughout the journey of working with me. And I want a lot of those micro yeses to be a lot of those micro decisions to lead to yes. So they're comfortable already saying yes to me, right? You're comfortable with saying yes. So one of the considerations that you do that you ask people to make a decision is to book that call, to fill out that survey, to opt into your stranger offer, if that's what you have, right? They may also see content of yours like previous reviews. Do you have a Google My Business page? Do you have Facebook reviews? Do you collect surveys that have reviews? You want to post that inside of your funnel so that people can see that other people have taken the opportunity to work with you and they've had a great experience. So that sort of proof helps people in the decision-making process. Running posts or creating posts or running ads that showcase people's success with working with you is also a way to reinforce that decision. And then the last step or last type of funnel that we do is a conversion, right? We want action. This is where your customers say, I want to buy. I'm ready to book. I'm ready to purchase. I'm ready to buy. So we want this process to also be easy to do. So we want to make sure that when we build these sort of purchase funnels, right, these buy funnels, these group trip funnels, that it's very easy for the client to buy. We don't want to put a bunch of barriers in front of them prior to the swipe. We want them to swipe and then we want to ask a bunch of questions afterwards because we want to ensure that we make the process for them to psychologically get from I want to do this to actually doing it, make it as seamless as possible. So let me show you now some examples of what these different funnels can look like and how we actually use Travel Pro Suite to help you facilitate the creation of these funnels. Now, prior to Travel Pro Suite, there was a slew of ways that an advisor could create a marketing funnels, right? there, And I used to teach many of the ways, right? Because there were so many different tools that you needed. You need to have a landing page tool. You need email marketing tool. You need something that can do forms. You need some way to be able to communicate the delivery of your product, right? So we got rid of all of that about 18 months ago when we implemented Travel Pro Suite. So we got rid of the necessity to do email marketing, landing pages, SMS marketing, all of that. We now do it inside of one tool. And so what I'm going to do now is show you kind of some examples of the different types of funnels that you can build and then talk to you about how we do it. All right. So what I'm sharing with you is one of our funnels. We just actually just released this new feature where we will help you all build out by simply filling out a form 
build out your funnel, all you have to do is provide us the content. So I'm going to take a, take the opportunity to do a little soft plug here. If you are not a part of our AI for Travel Advisors Facebook group, you're going to want to join that Facebook group because that is where I am actually dropping the prompts to help you build out funnels like this. And so this is an example of a stranger offer funnel. This funnel's objective is for somebody to get a free guide. Right. And so it is simple. It's got, you know, the, you know, get a free guide. It has some reasons why you want to get the guide and then a call to action. There's a little section here about me, the author of the guide, and then also a testimonial section. And then you have the form. We now offer this functionality inside of Travel Pro Suite. Again, all you have to do is fill out a form and you'll be able to get up and running on a opt-in offer fairly quickly. And so this is one of the straight, this is one of the funnels that I mentioned that you all need, which is an awareness, right? You want to have a reason why people can raise their hand. So why, what are you, what are you selling, right? Why do people need to do you have a guide? Do you have a download? Do you have a checklist? Do you have something that's of meaningful to your ideal client? The offer is the hook, right? That's the reason why somebody would want to download it is because it's going to be a piece of information or something that your ideal client wants, right? We don't want to create trash. We don't want to create something that is important to us. We want to create something that's important to your ideal client. Now, if you're, if you're savvy, you notice that I said ideal client at least six times already just in that last sentence, right? And the reason why that's so important to note is because you need to know who your ideal client is, what's important to them. Why do they, um, why, why do they want to travel? Why can't they book stuff themselves? Why can't they get out of town themselves? What's preventing them from the ability of doing that? Is it time? Is it complexity? Is it, they just don't care or they don't take enough time for themselves. Whatever the reason is, the objective for you is to create a piece of content that's going to connect to them so that they can say, yes, I want. So this stranger offer funnel will do that. So the first thing that happens is person will put in, and this is pretty much on all the funnels that I'm going to show you, is a person will put in their information. And this is for you as a travel advisor. They will put in their information and then it's going to take them to a thank you page. This whole process, that's a funnel, right? So it's a landing page that has the information. That's the compelling offer. It's the exchange, which is how do you get that information? So we never give without getting, right? And that's the same thing with your clients. They want something in order to give you something. So you wanna make sure that you get that email address. And then once we get the email address, we then deliver the MOTS. We deliver what we promised, which is the guide, the download, or whatever your offer is, we deliver that. And so we deliver that via email and you can also deliver it through text message. So what's happened is in my inbox, if I was, uh, quick enough, I would have had this open. So let me open up my inbox. There is an email that I have received that thanks me for the um, offer that I just got. And I got to, I always think it's so funny because my email is, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I have to find, so you're going to have to trust me on this. So the, the last step is an email comes to you and says, Hey, here's the offer with the link to the offer. And the client will then enter into a five email series. We've set it up where it's an email every day for five days. Now, inside of our setup of this opt-in offer, we talk to you about what you need to do to be able to set that up pretty effortlessly. So that's the first type of funnel is a stranger offer funnel. Then the second type of funnel is our travel request process. And so what we did when we first initially launched Travel Pro Suite is we made this where it was very customizable and it's still customizable, but what we got, in, what we got back from our clients is 
listen, we want to get up as quickly as possible. So simply all you have to do now inside of Travel Pro Suite is fill out a form. You decide on your images and then what happens is your travel request blueprint process is uh, created. And so the similarly where we want them to submit a travel request. So once they submit a travel request, then we allow them to book an appointment. I'm not going to go through this step because uh, it just takes a little bit of time to fill out the form, but that's exactly what we want. So that's another type of funnel that we want our clients to go through. So you want to have on your website a, an ability to explain to them what your process is for them to fill out the form and then to book an appointment if that's your process and then get a thank you. And so this funnel does that same thing. Same thing at the end. We have a landing page. We have a way to do the exchange, right? We want something. In this case, we want a survey to be completed. And then we also want a call to be booked. And then we enter them into an email sequence that will send an automatic reminder for their discovery call. We actually send them the survey after the survey has been completed so they have a record of what they submitted to us. We as a travel advisor get that. This travel request funnel is an internal and an external process that we allow our clients to go through and that we use so that we can take a person who's interested in travel and we start them inside of our operational workflow. That's a number two type of funnel that we have. Number three type of funnel is an event based funnel. So, you know, many of you guys are doing webinars. Maybe you guys are hosting events, whatever your reason for doing an event or doing a relationship type of activity. We have a funnel for that, too, which is what we want is we want information about your event. So as Travel Pro Suite. All you have to do is fill out a form about your event. Tell us the name, the information, the reasons why people would be interested in it, the date and time, and we'll do the rest. We'll, this design is also available out of the box now for you too. So you'll name the name of your event, the date, and then we allow the person to register. Once the person registers, so same thing. Now, the great thing about Travel Pro Suite is we capture, we capture phone number, and if you would like, we can also send text messages. So we can send a text message to your client. We can send them text reminders, not only the text reminders, we can also send them emails to let them know that the event, when the event's going to, as reminders, we set up reminder sequence. We set up, we, the person gets an email immediately after when they register and then 24 hours and then one hour before the event. And I think like 15 minutes before the event and then the actual time of the event um, as well. So all of this automation is, uh, did you love when live? So something went wrong. I don't know if it was my um, connection. Hopefully you all are still there. And we'll test that. Um, and then what happens here is a thank you page. So then the fourth type of funnel that we have is a trip funnel. And so that is when you've got people, you've got a trip, you've got a group trip and you're ready to start selling it and start getting people to purchase. We want to tell people the same thing. So what you see is the same sort of flow in all of the funnels. You have a landing page that is the information about your offer. And then you have an action page, which is I either want your email information. I want your contact information. But on a booking funnel, what do we want? We actually want the credit card. So we want their information so that we can charge them around the particular product. You also see, hopefully you're beginning to see with the different types of funnels that depending on where the client is, I don't ask for money on the first type of funnel. In my attraction funnel, I just want something pretty unevasive. I want contact information, right? In the event funnel, you may charge for some of your events. So depending on the types of events, you may decide to charge, right? But you may not. So again, the action here is contact information. Again, you could put a checkout page if you're charging for your event. You can do that as well. 
And then always at the end, it's confirmation. And then the fourth step is delivery. So no matter what you do, a funnel is going to have those four stages, information, a landing page. It's going to identify the what and the benefits to your client. Nobody cares about you, right, as the travel advisor and extraordinaire, except for me, right? So the page and the content on your primary landing page needs to speak to why this is a great idea for them to do the action that you want, why it's going to benefit them. So the language that you use on that page is so important for the connection, right? So what I do say about... Um, marketing funnels and landing pages in general is is that you don't get the opportunity to shake and kiss kiss you know kiss more like kiss hands you don't get the opportunity of shaking hands and kissing babies in person the landing page news needs to do all of that for you so the content and the language that you use is so important this is where ai really can help you do that as long as you understand who your ideal client is so with that what I will say is we actually have just released this today, this done for you section inside of Travel Pro Suite, which is where you will complete these forms. You will complete either a webinar event form or an opt-in form. Let me close this. An opt-in form and based on the opt-in or the webinar event form, it will populate those pages for you. So you'll just have to do some one-time setup to publish the page, get a little bit of things connected, and then your page will be ready to go. You'll turn on your automations and your funnel will be ready to go. Now, why did I do this? I did this because you guys asked, right? I've been working with you guys for about the last 18 months and what you guys tell me on a regular that you've got two major number one issues is one, you, um, you don't know, you don't know how to market. Like you just don't understand marketing. So this is the reason why we are spending so much time on the principles and the strategy so that you are ready um, to market and you have no reason not to. The number two issue that you all tell me is technology. Technology is not necessarily your best friend. And so what we want to do inside of our tools is one, help you streamline the way you operate and market your business, but also give you those tools that will allow you to do that. And so inside of we've launched this D. FY setup, and that stands for done for you setup. All you'll have to do, like I mentioned, is you'll click on, hold on. You can watch the video. You'll get this webinar funnel setup form. You'll put in the information in the form. You'll put in all the pertinent information. I've also included the link to the video, which will explain to you exactly how to fill out the form, how to get all the fields populated and then what you need to do on your website uh, inside of the actual application so that you can get it published. And then once you're published, you're ready to go. And so listen, my goal, like I said, was when we launched Travel Pro Suite was to streamline operations. That included multitude of levels of streamlining. First, it's to get you off of multiple systems. We really accomplished that. We're coming up on our year anniversary in the next two months. And our second goal was, and we started this about three or four months ago, is to help you focus not on the operations of your business, but of the marketing of your business. Because if you can't get in front of the people that you want to get to, you won't have a business for long. So marketing has got to be your most important time and money that you spend inside of your business because you want as many people that you know liking trusting you and knowing who you are listen we have um we do not i think i got we got a couple of questions out here um and one of them is maria is this live yes it is live um and so uh i did do an announcement so that announcement i did um I think via email and also social media um, inside of our different groups so that it is live. And then uh, do we integrate our events with StreamYard? No, we do not, unfortunately. So StreamYard is an amazing tool that allows you to go live on multiple locations. 
However, we do have a feature that is coming um, in the next month or two where we will be able to go live inside of our own TPS community. So if you are on the premier level, you have access to communities and we'll actually be able to go live inside of those communities. As soon as that feature is available, I will be going live in that community as well. So um, a StreamYard integration, you'll continue to set up your events through StreamYard. Um, however, your meeting URL that you would put on the events page would be um, however you're broadcasting. So if you're broadcasting to a YouTube channel or social media channel, you can include that link on um, inside of the webinar setup page. And so when the automatic emails go out, it'll have the link to whatever location that you're actually hosting the live event with. So hopefully that answers your question. Listen, if you are have been under a rock and you do not know, in just two weeks, we are going to be hosting our our video visibility challenge. And this is a great opportunity for people to get to know who you are as a travel advisor, as a travel boss. And we are going to be doing this challenge starting October 7th. And it will be a 21 day challenge where you will show up and show out and talk all things about why you are the bomb.com for your ideal client. And if you have not registered for this event, it is only $1 to register. And I will not only give you the daily prompts for what you can be talking about, if you decide to upgrade and get our camera ready guide, I will also deliver you AI prompts inside that guide that will help you craft a specific script for each of the days. Listen, join us. It's been, it's been, I think it's been like three years, four years. I want to say our last challenge was in 2020. It may have been 22, but I think when I looked at my notes, it was 20. 20 was the last official visibility, I always have a hard time with that BBC video visibility challenge that we did. And the reason we do 21 days is because it takes about 21 days to make a, an action become a an habit. And we want you showing up and showing out for your travel business. So we want to see you inside of that challenge. All you have to do is go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash challenge to register for our video visibility challenge that kicks off in the next two weeks. Listen, I, I hope that you want, you love the marketing funnel. Let me know in comments. Do you guys have a funnel? What kind of funnel do you have built or are you interested in building inside of your travel business? I listen, I watch out for all comments. So take a, uh, give us a comment and I will reply and give you my thoughts. Listen, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow where we will be hosting our uh, next training and we will also be having office hours directly after tomorrow's session. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening. Why did I do this? If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.